What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Well, if you missed my last couple videos, you missed out because we got some new additions to our family. Here, I'm gonna show you. We got Macy, the baby llama. She's about two months old. And of course, you remember Miss Piggy. We've been pairing them up. They slept together last night in the coop. That's our future chicken house, which comes in perfectly for Macy just to kind of keep her safe out here and of course we have boston over there dang they really like you well, boston's feeding our jersey cow and our two adult llamas he's doing a great job i mean they're doing a great job too they no they pretty much left. no more food left huh whoa <laughs> you okay so yeah the baby llama i mean just to give you an idea how small she is compared to the adult llamas the male we, the white one is a male he's got little spots on him his name is, hey, what's his name again? Cheerio. I don't like that name. I don't like that name, Cheerio. So the Jersey cow's name is Mona. We got Macy. Of course, we got Miss Piggy. Ginger is our, our female llama. She's about two years old. And I don't know where Cheerio came from for the male. I don't know. I was just, I was just talking to him and called it Cheerio. And I was like, oh, Cheerio. He's beautiful. He's got like a real pretty It looks coat. like he's got Cheerios all over him. I know, but I, I feel like he needs a better Cheerio. Name. Cheerio. So we put this like temporary fencing up. These are so awesome. Big shout out to Randall for hooking me up with these. We had them by the house, but figured it'd be nice to have them out here. That way we could introduce the piggy and the baby llama to the other bigger animals. And they could just kind of, because they hang out out here by the front, especially at nighttime. And... They're good protectors too. At nighttime, I do close this up. That's what I did last night. And then during the day, we'll open this up just to let them have some uh, some free range, a little bit of free range. But Miss Piggy's loving it. She slept outside for the very first time, but she did have her her snuggles, her blankets and stuff. Boston getting excited feeding the animals. <laughs> Miss Piggy, what are you doing, Miss Piggy? She hasn't got really much bigger. I mean, we've had her a couple weeks and she's doing pretty good. Little baby llama, she's so cute. Two babies on a bottle. But you know who likes the bottle more? Of course, Miss Piggy. <laughs> you gotta go to the left side. She likes the left side. Hey, wait, you don't want the bottle today? Miss Piggy's all grown up today. There goes Boston in his little ATV. <laughs> Yo, it is so cold out here in Florida today. I almost left these in New York City in our hotel because I was like, we're going back to Florida. Like, why are we gonna use these? It's like the cold followed us from New York City to here. Cause it's been, actually it's probably been colder. I think even some parts of Florida have experienced snow. Some models indicating there's a chance for some light snow over Northern Florida. We'll see if that transpires. I mean, the other day, our camper had frozen water lines. Bizarre, never seen anything like, I mean, there was this one time I did see something like this, but it's a long time ago, like 2009. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh. You are such a cutie. <laughs> I just put a little bit of hay in there. I think they're doing pretty good together. Hey, these are our best hey, friends right here. Bro. I live in that Farmville life. <laughs> That's right, man. Hey, we're going to have to do a farm music video one day. Oh my God, that yeah. would be so cool. We're gonna have e the llamas e twerking and everything. He said E I E I yo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh my goodness. Baby. You're so pretty. Aww. I can't believe she's gonna be as big as the other llamas. I know. All right, fam. So, being that we're, you know, farmers and all, decided to come and get some overalls. These are for Tiff right here. Actually, yeah, these are for Tiffany. And then I'll get these guys right here. Just kidding. Just kidding. I, I mean, if I did have to wear overalls, I'd probably be sporting like the camo ones. What about a cowboy hat? I should get a cowboy hat. Oh, I like the black cowboy hat. This one's stylish. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got a bump on her head. We should definitely get some of these boots though, so we don't yeah, run our shoes sure. and stepping in llama poopy. Is that good, Mona? Dude, she drinks a lot. That thing's already gone. So my goal is to have her 
a little less bony. <laughs> what? Ew. What, baby? What? Ew, you got snot on your nose. <laughs> yeah. Literally the whole thing. <laughs> Should probably give her some more. Yeah. She's been eating all day. So this is my time with Mona. Spent a lot of time like this together. When she sees Red Bucket. Oh. What? Wait, you're done? There's more. You're missing out. But yeah, when she sees a red bucket, yeah, game on. She lets me pet her. I could cuddle with her. So she's gonna have a great home here on the Safe Haven Ranch. Even the llamas are just, they're just having a great, good old time. Now, I don't have any shelter for them as of now, but they do have this magical tree behind me with some really good shade. It's not so hot. I mean, it's right now, high is like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's nice. Like winter, I mean, in Florida, I guess. Sweater weather, if you will. But it does get a little cold at night. So until then, they're cool. Like, they're okay for now. I mean, most cows don't really use shelter. I mean, I know my neighbor's cows that are back there. They just go behind trees and stuff. One thing that's been worrying me about this paddock area, though, is I got these random holes. And I think they're from, like, gopher tortoises. It's one thing that we have a lot of and they dig these massive tunnels i think from like this monsoon of rain we had lately there's a really bad one over here somewhere i saw and man these mole hills are driving me crazy so these guys are going to be a part of guarding the livestock when we get goats and chickens ducks things like that i mean we love them so much because they're cute but they do serve a purpose for guarding livestock as well didn't know that about llamas i love llamas you want some now? Oh my god, she's out again. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Hey. No, no. No. Be nice. Be nice. She's really curious. I didn't know if she was going to attack her, but I just wanted to. <laughs> I'm here talking about guard llamas. And she's bought, she went in full attack mode. So Miss Piggy is getting out of this little area that I fenced off, and we have no idea how she's getting out. I think she's just getting through the little holes. I thought that the holes were small. All right, we're trying to figure out how Miss Piggy's getting out here. I'm gonna stand here in stealth mode. Oh, she's getting through the side. She's so smart. See, that second pole is like bigger. So she fits right. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab some of the, the old fencing, the wire, and put like a perimeter at the bottom. Yeah. I would say these guys are pretty happy. Just look at them. They just chilling. <laughs> so I originally had this little area here for Miss Piggy and being that Miss Piggy is gonna be hanging out back over there with Baby Llama, we don't really have much use for this. Plus, I think it'll come in handy in keeping Miss Piggy contained so she doesn't get out and get hurt. So I'm gonna bring this over there it's gonna be great. All right, llamas, meet your new groomer. <laughs> this is my friend Deb. I Deb wish. the groomer. I wish. <laughs> Look at her. She bottle feeding from yeah. you. She likes you. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> you just want to hug her and and stop her from growing. <laughs> know, right? Has anybody ever brought a llama to your shop? Oh no, no. No. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring her into your no, shop. No, they would have to call first, and then I would say, no. So if you're ever wondering why our dogs look so cute all the time, Cookie, Luna, Chloe, it's because of Deb. Oh, I love Deb. So, yeah, she lives over in Spring Hill. She came up, did a little visit up here in North Florida, but still worth the drive, taking the dogs to get groomed. All right, so there's our solution to Miss Piggy escaping problem. And it seems that she was getting through that second hole right there. Uh, this one right here is a lot smaller. She can't get through that. So yeah, I got her old enclosure and put like an extra barrier right there. I think that works out pretty good. I just don't want to take any chances and have these guys getting hurt, especially Miss Piggy. She's so small, but she's doing really good with the baby llama. Like I caught him in here cuddling a little bit ago. She's so cute. Just look at that point. Just look at this point of them. You want to come out and play? Yeah? Come on, let's play. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, I got to open. I got to open that door up. All right, so I can make a little opening over here. This is, this is good. Yeah, no problem. 
There we go. There we go. How you doing, Macy? Sorry that Miss Piggy took your freedom for a little bit. Pretty soon you'll have this whole yard to roam free in with your besties over there that are somewhat warming up to me. I don't think they've gotten this much love ever. So it's kind of nice. I mean, for first couple days, I think they're doing great. Eating right from the bucket, like right from our hands, especially the cow. Where is the cow? You see her anywhere, Max? Oh, she's back there. <laughs> she's like hidden. She's right behind that palm tree. Look at these guys cuddling. How cute. <laughs> I think Miss Piggy found her best friend. Aw. Miss Piggy thinks she's a llama. So we have a bit of an issue here at the Safe Haven Ranch. I was getting ready to check on the, you know, the food for the llamas. And of course my, my cow Mona. And when I look, let me just show you. I have an infestation of bees. I mean, like it's bad. Wow, like I, I can't even get close to it. And this is probably the worst news ever because Tiffany can die from a bee sting. She's highly allergic to bees. I mean, they're everywhere. They're also inside of that feed trough right there. So I don't know what to do. I even feel like I'm at high risk being this close. I'm only, I don't know, eight feet away. So I gotta do some research because, I mean, you can see how close my llamas are. Like these guys are like, what the hell, dad? Like what's going on here? Leave me with all these bees. I don't want them getting stung. So I'm gonna need to figure something out, do a little research. Probably a new rule from now on. I'm not gonna leave feet out the way I have been. Maybe from now on, I'll just hand feed them until I figure out what's going on with the bees. I do have their feed covered up and we like lay feed out for them during the day. I don't think bees are attracted to hay, so we're good there, but whatever's in this feed, they're just, they're loving it. I mean, there's just, I cannot believe how many bees are just going crazy in there. But yeah, they have to return to their hive. I'm pretty sure at nighttime, there won't be any bees in there, but we're gonna have to take some precautions. I got another little feeding station for them. You could also, I don't know, I might use that for water. I got some future projects in the works. Also got this IBC tote for some water, just so, yeah, we don't have to keep, I mean, we have, I mean, look, look how far our well is. And I have a 300 foot hose that only makes it to about there. So this is gonna come in handy for us to be able to effectively have water or have some water out here for them a little bit quicker because I want them having fresh water every single day. Hi, buddy. Sorry about the bees. Okay, I am curious if they are in the other feeding trough. I mean, I've seen them coming out of there. Oh my God. Yeah, there's quite a few of them in there too. There's quite a few, not as much as the other one. But there's quite a bit. Y'all know that I love Tampa so much that I got a hat that says Tampa. One thing I hate about Tampa, though, is this. Right here, all this damn traffic. It is all good, though. Picking up my boy, Jamesy. Oh, my God. Yeah, can't leave a gap. Some people want to get in front of you. They put my Tampa hat on and drive like a Tampanian. A Tampanian? <laughs> a tampon. Drive like a tampon. But I'm excited to show James our farm. Got a little bit of a drive from here, but... This is the closest area that he was able to get his train to. So I am so excited about tomorrow. Aren't you excited about tomorrow? Yeah. I'm, I'm super excited about tomorrow. Tomorrow is a great day because we are picking up our livestock guardian dog. I mean, she's not going to be much of a guardian right now. No, she's a puppy. She'll be able to bond with Miss Piggy and Baby Llama. Why do I keep calling her Baby Llama? Gee, how do we find James? Oh, wait, some guy taking some selfies oh, where'd he go oh he just disappeared behind that sign no he's he's vlogging he's vlogging I, I just lost him okay yeah so i saw james like vlogging and that's how i was able to find him let's see if we roll up on him and he's still vlogging jamesy boy what are you hiding james he's he's vlogging <laughs> on his new iphone james james he's got, got his, his headphones, headphones on <laughs> james James! You have to call him. <laughs> James! James! Oh, <laughs> James! James! <laughs> Take a day of headphones off. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, What's up, bro? All right, so I'm going to show James our, you know, our llamas newly, newly acquired 
farm animals, but I want to make sure that we don't have bees anymore. I mean, there could be a possibility that they're still out there. Crossing my fingers, hoping not. Tiffany's laying low. She's allergic, you know? <laughs> what the hell? Did the bees eat all the food? All right, so the bees have returned to their hive. Thank God. Hi, baby. What you doing? You want your bottle? Aw. You're so cute. Okay, we got some bottles for you. We got some bottles. She's excited. There goes Miss Piggy. <laughs> there goes Mona right there. And where's my other guys? Uh, there's, oh yeah, there's the other llamas. They're chilling. So I think Mona came over here and ate all the feed and probably ate all the bees that were in there. <laughs> she just licked it clean. Oh, hi, baby. You're so cute. Hi, you want some food? Do you want some food? <laughs> she wants her bottle. Come on. Come on. They know mama's got that food. I got it. Come on. She wants your feet, like... I know, she thinks it's the... Oh, my God. She's, like, trying to eat my feet, thinking it's the nipple bottle. No, come here, Piggy. Come here, Piggy. Here, right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my name's Miss Piggy. I have never eaten in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed that Mona had this, like, weird... Like, weird circles on her, and I thought at first that maybe somebody had been shooting her like with a BB gun or something and she's got these scars but we looked more into it Tiffany did and we found out that she could have ringworm so I figured since she's really friendly with us when we feed her good opportunity for me to give her her ringworm medicine bam and I could actually spray it on stream let me test this out oh perfect hey Mona ready to get some more food all right yeah see she's got them all over here so there's one on her neck there. Oh, it's okay. No, don't Aww. go away. Oh. All right, I'm gonna do it quick. Oh, she. <laughs> <laughs> I sprayed her with the ringworm medicine. Aww. She's scared. All right, yeah, this sucks. Only way I could give her this medicine. Okay, I wanted to sneak up on baby pig and baby llama. Okay, she's under the blanket. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket. Hi, Miss Piggy. Hi, baby. You're so cute. Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. She's so cute. No, you can't come out here. You can't come out here. No, I'm sorry to wake you guys up. Okay, I'm go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. They're bonding very well. <laughs> James, James, remember that time that we were? Huh? Hey, uh, we should put one of these sun chips. So, oh, he just closed his mouth. So we are on our way right now to get our puppy, and we're so excited. It could be a different kind of puppy. Now, if you remember some of my old vlogs where I used to have chickens and ducks. I didn't know anything about livestock guardians or anything like that. I didn't know that anything existed. I just thought that, hey, if you saw a raccoon out there messing with your chickens or if a coyote was out there, you just chase it away or you put some trail cameras out and that's how you catch them. I didn't know that there was a way to deter them. So yeah, for our farm, AKA ranch, I wanted to make sure we did things right and did a lot of pre-planning, did a lot of research. And I wanted to get all of that straight before I got any type of livestock because I am not losing any of my animals. I do not, uh, it's, just, it's heartbreaking when you lose one of your animals that you've been raising since a, since they were a baby and it's just, it's heartbreaking. We're gonna take good care of your baby, okay? Is that yeah, mama? Care, okay? I promise you. She's adorable. I promise. I'm gonna take care of her, okay? So cute. Can we just have the mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so fluffy. She's oh a big puppy. God. Dude, she's almost the size of Boston. Oh Is that oh. the daddy? Oh, that's the daddy. Oh, he's, so but he's coming. He's like skipping over here. Look at 
He's like, yeah, free house. <laughs> oh, these guys like love. They're adorable. Aww. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. Oh, look, at the, look at the goats. Are the sheep coming? Oh, look at. <laughs> are those sheep or goats? What are they? They're sheep. She okay. Yeah. Are those your buddies, guys? <laughs> you guys want some loving too? You're probably gonna be bigger than all of them. Hi, guys. Okay, I do actually feel bad. Mama's actually turned around. She's like, okay. "Where's my puppy at?" I knew she was gonna do that too. Aww. She was a litter of 10. And supposedly from what I just read, she was the second largest from her litter. Those banded type eyes that she has, supposedly she's gonna grow out of it. That's how mom was. So she'll be eventually just all white in the future. Look, and she's like, guys, wait, we forgot about my baby. Oh, she's the last one. You wanna leave her? Yeah. You really do? I feel bad taking her away. Like oh, this is what? Look, I, I'm gonna make you this promise. What? Okay, when we one day have puppies for her, they can stay. And we I'm can literally have... gonna fight you. <laughs> so you're saying we're gonna have to get another dog? Yeah, I wanna get a male. And then there were. I wanna give her like a little life mate. She's it's... gonna have a llama and pig life mate. Yeah, she is. She's gonna have a lot of life mates. We just watched them, like, they were cleaning the lambs after they went you know dookie it was so gross <laughs> like they really are like motherly how's she doing back there she's really yeah you like her boston yes i love her i don't like her i love her so her name is gracie we do got to get some dewormer just in case we're looking at her vet record she did well she had her first round of shots probably gonna get another checkup pretty soon with the vet maybe we'll have the vet come to the house that way you can check on the other animals and stuff too. But we're so excited, especially later today when we introduce Gracie to Macy. So yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun introducing them together. So far, Miss Piggy and Macy, they're just loving being with each other. And I want these guys to be raised together and have a, a long, long life. I'm gonna train Gracie to be a livestock guardian for our poultry, our chickens and our ducks. And we also have some geese that we're gonna be getting, but that's not for a little while. I'm gonna kind of get her like used to the farm first and, but still as a puppy, get her introduced to the, to the baby chicks, very young. But I mean, like when we met her, it's like, she's so sweet. I, I can't, I can't envision her just like going after a coyote and killing it, but. Okay. I guess the you know that's what happens when the coyotes come. I mean they're that protective over their their area. Oh, what wait, happened? Hold on, we need to what pull happened? over. She just threw up so much. Oh, Boston. she was car sick. Are you all right, Boston? No, she's eating it now. Oh. I need you to pull okay, over. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna take Sorry. you off my pants. I told you, oh. and you were like, I don't care if she throws up on me. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> you good? What happened? Ah uh, no. So baby Gracie, even for a puppy, is massive. She weighs probably close to 30 pounds. It's okay, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you don't feel good. Are you good? <coughs> <laughs> Boss had to take his pants off. <laughs> okay, so we got a little blanket there for Miss Gracie. All right, we are here back at the ranch. Did have a slight accident happen. Actually, two of them. Gracie got a little sick a little car sick uh and now she's cleaning it up <laughs> it's okay <laughs> look who we have out here waiting for us hi here's your friend this is gracie miss piggy where you at miss piggy <laughs> oh shit. oh the oh, i got peed on bruh no the dog did Bro, you couldn't hold it like two more seconds, crazy. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Miss Piggy likes you. Miss Piggy, oh, she's scared. She's scared. It's okay. You're in good hands in here. She's such a big dog. She's so scared. She's like, who are these guys? <laughs> you guys get to grow together. 
<laughs> you can go potty. There you go. Good girl. That's a good girl. So this is Dixie. So we're going to name her Dixie. Come here. Don't be scared. <laughs> you're hungry. I know it. I know you're hungry. Oh, look. Big Llama's looking at the at the puppy. She's like, who is that? I promise she's not a coyote. All right, Mommy's coming with the bottles. Here she comes. You want some drinkies? Oh. <laughs> Scared me. Oh, my goodness. Come here, Macy. Come here, baby. Don't get it in your mouth. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Miss Piggy, girl. <laughs> hey, I don't call her Miss Piggy for nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the girl. hell? She's going oh, crazy. Oh, my God. Macy eating like a lady over here. She is so hungry. Oh, it's it's leaking all over the dog. There. Oh God. Okay. Wow. Oh, she likes it. Look. Ooh, she's wet. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because she's hungry. She got milk all over her. She's just like taking advantage of it. I would hate that to be my nipple. Oh my God. Spend a little time here with Miss Gracie. She's really scared. She was whim whimpering a little bit ago. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I feel bad, like, leaving her out here, but I know she's going to be okay. Because baby llama, baby llama is going to keep you lots of company. Uh, Tiffany went to the store right now to get her some, some puppy food. Just gave her some water. She's due for a vet checkup in about two weeks. So, yeah, she's pretty good. She was at the vet December 20th, which wasn't like a whole long time ago. And she's due within three weeks from there. So, yeah. So, yeah, pretty soon she'll be due for another another visit. She had her puppy shots, which is really good. You're going to be a big, big dog. I'm excited. I like big dogs. Big, white, fluffy dog. Got a legit petting zoo out here. This is like the, the Omar petting zoo. All my family members have been coming over. And, I mean, I don't live very close to everybody. Like, I moved far away. So, I mean, for them to come up here is a pretty big deal. I mean, they want to see us, of course, too. But they want to see you guys. You guys are precious. I mean, just look at you. I am still full of pee. I'm going to have to definitely get in the shower. Yeah, that's right. All right, we just got the baby some food. But Miss Piggy's getting excited. She wants to eat it. <laughs> come here, baby. Come here, baby. Hey, baby. Let's eat up. Oh, I know you're hungry. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, so that's... That's her little area. And she's right here by the llama and Miss Piggy. She's kind of scared of the llama. It's okay. Uh, you be guys friends. are going to be best buds, I promise. You guys are going to be friends. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Aww. One day they're going to look like monsters doing that. <laughs> uh, I think she's a little nervous to eat right now. She ate a little bit. I think she likes it outside, but we can't leave her right here. Yeah. Uh, not right now, but when she gets a little older, yeah. Yeah, she likes that little spot. Yeah. Come here, Gracie. Miss Piggy likes her. I just hope Miss Piggy don't eat her food. <laughs> She's just chewing on your sandal. I know. She's chewing on everything all the time. Might come out here a couple times tonight and just see how Gracie's doing. So far, it seems like she's doing okay, but it might be a little different when I walk away because she was kind of whimpering a second ago when I went to go feed Mona. So, yeah. I have to check on her. I'm trying to get that spray on her to help her with the itchy. I think she's just gonna itch no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna help your skin, baby. It's gonna help your skin. <laughs> oh, eating the food. Ah uh, no, <laughs> no. Okay, we're gonna have to just put her food away. <laughs> Miss Piggy, no, that's not your food. That's dog food. That's not piggy food. No. This is literally breaking my heart. It's breaking my heart too, trust is me. It, it is. These dogs are like they're bred. It's in within their DNA to to love other farm animals. I mean, they're still going to be like our family, you know, but I mean, if we bring her in the house, it's going to be hard to bring her back out here. Or maybe not. She might actually just really want to be outside. That's where she's She was at This is probably the closest thing to so being indoors. Or that she's ever had. <laughs> Miss Piggy's taking over Gracie's area. She's like, this is mine. You just want food. That's all you want. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna come back out here and check on them in a little bit. We had a lot of throw up to clean up back there. Clean now, we're good. Been inside the camper, eating dinner. It's been about, I don't know, how long would you say, two hours? Mm -hmm. Not that long. So we're gonna check on Puppy. Maybe it's been an hour. Where those lights are is where they are at. One thing that I love is that the llamas, the adult llamas, are already showing that they can be guard llamas. So at nighttime, they almost act like guards and they surround themselves right around like that pen area, like the chicken coop, which is great. I caught you guys doing a great job. You guys are doing great. Sometimes they'll like, I mean, look, you can see the, the llama poop. Like they hang out right by the coop. Oh, look, they're chilling. Yeah, look, Miss Piggy is right by the puppy. Okay, good news, good news, they're okay. And a little baby Gracie seems to be doing great. Dude, Miss Piggy is literally cuddling with Gracie. So we're having a house built. It's been about a year and a half, about 20 months. And this is what we got going on. I think by the time they're done, it'd be very close to two years. So yeah, that's about how long you're gonna have to wait to have a house built. Every once in a while they'll come and they'll work and then it is sit for like two or three weeks. But I seen some electricians here working earlier today and I wanna see what they have been up to. Ooh, got a lot of wires going on here, okay. All right, a lot goes into wiring a house. Oh my God, what the hell is that? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I didn't know the doors were open back there. Yeah, they got all the wiring. Look, they got the lights in place. So this is our kitchen area. I don't see, okay, there's the cans for the, the tray ceiling, which is nice. It's looking good. I think they wired us up pretty good here. I wonder if they're all done with the wiring. Almost done. Got a really good friend of mine, Roland, who is an electrician. I might have him come over here and kind of double check. This is cool, look, this is one of our additions. We have a, a plug up here for a TV. And then there's our plugs on the other side for a TV. Yeah, all right. So this is the progress on our house that we've been waiting so long for. I'm just happy that we're able to enjoy the land. And yeah, I'm thankful for that. If it takes another year, it takes another year. Got all the air conditioning ducts in place. I mean, as soon as they're done with the electricity, they're gonna be doing drywall, huh? All right, fam, so we're into the next day and good news, Gracie is having a great time with Miss Piggy. Slept through the night. I, I mean, just the dad and me wanted to keep checking on her. <laughs> She's like, what do you... She keeps wanting to play with her. <laughs> play with her, Miss Piggy. <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Piggy's like, leave me alone. <laughs> she just wants to play. I'm glad she's, you know, getting comfy. In her little area. Mm -hmm. Hi, Macy. Hi, Hi Macy. Baby. It looks like Hamlet and the llamas are starting to get along. I went over there and gave a treat to Hamlet and kind of like opened the door. Hi, baby. The llamas were real curious. They're like, what are you doing? How are you going to come say hi to me? Are you gonna come say hi to me? Can I have a kiss? You were so cute. I want a kiss. Whoa. You always smell like milk. All right, so I got all these guys in the open right now. And just, I don't know. The big llama is, she's actually good. She's really friendly with the animals. <laughs> Miss Piggy's actually the one that kind of like gave her a little, a little nibble. But she's been like a mom to yeah. little Macy. So yeah, I kind of tore apart their little enclosure here. I'm gonna make something a little bigger for them. Should be fun. I got some leftover fence posts and sheep and goat wire. But yeah, even Gracie doing good around the bigger llama. I was hanging out with the cow a little bit earlier. James was feeding her. <laughs> now, I wouldn't have them in the open like this if I wasn't out here. Hey, watch big llama with the puppy. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Gracie's having a great old time out here. <laughs> what you doing, Grace? Uh oh. Baby llama drama. I really like her name is uh her name's Dixie. That's Dixie the llama. That's Dixie Llama. But she has like a motherly instinct to her. Like she really likes baby llama and she's doing really well even with the piggy. And now with Gracie too. Good girl, Gracie. Good girl. All right, Luna's already getting pretty excited here. Today I've been building this fence pretty much all day in the rain. I am soaked. I mean, this sweater is, yeah, it's soaked. And it's raining again, but I gotta let the animals out. I want them to come out and play and I want Luna to get introduced to them. She was growling a second ago. You can't be growling. You see the puppy? You see the puppy? She just saw the puppy. You see the little puppy? You see the little puppy? Yeah. You see the little puppy, don't you? You see the little puppy. You gonna play with her? You gonna play with her? Come on. All right, I gotta get her leash on though. Want to see your new best friend? Oh, she's crying. Come on. This is Luna's like very first time meeting the animals. Yeah, except for Miss Piggy, of course. And she loves Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy loves her. Where are you going? Oh, you smell all the poopy, huh? Okay, you can't eat it, okay? Come on, let's go see your friend. So here's the fence that I built with some leftover material from, you know what the fence guys left. Ooh, what's going on here? Aww. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, Miss Piggy. Aw, she's scared. I don't think she's ever seen <laughs> Luna. It's okay, Luna. Look, Luna. L Luna, come here. Come here. Come here. No. No barking. No barking. <laughs> yeah, none of that. Okay, you want to see some other? You want to see some bigger ones? All right, let's go look at Mona. Wait till she sees the llamas, the big ones over there. Uh huh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh huh. Shh. Be nice. Be nice, Luna. Be nice. It's okay. <laughs> Luna's scared. No, Luna. Mona's really interested. I think she thinks she's a baby cow. <laughs> oh, you want to give her? You want to give her some milk, don't you? I think that's pretty good for one day. Let's let's introduce you to the llamas. Luna's kind of scared. <laughs> oh, Luna's scared. <laughs> it's okay, Luna. I'm not gonna let them hurt you. I promise. I won't let them hurt you. I think Luna's kind of scared. She's not a cow. She's not gonna hurt you, baby. <laughs> She's so scared. She's our friend, okay? Luna is our friend. You guys can't attack her, okay? If you see anything that doesn't look like her, like a coyote, they're very different. You can like go after them, but don't go after Luna. Luna's our friend. Luna's our sister, okay? Okay, I'll be doing a lot more introducing Luna got Luna on a really short leash. I just want her to be secure. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Mona. I think Mona's just really curious. <laughs> She's following us. <laughs> She's so scared. Here comes Mona again. She likes Luna. Oh my gosh. Luna, I think she just likes you. She's not going to hurt you. Here's the thing, though. Mona's a cow. She's huge. She's kind of intimidating, especially when she's coming towards you. But she's a big scaredy cat. I'm trying to work on that. So I wanted to make this enclosure a little bit bigger. And this is what I did. My boy James helped me out. Like I said, it doesn't look as good as, you know, like back there, like the sheep and goat wire isn't as perfectly stretched, especially like right over here. But I was just kind of working with what I had left. And I think it looks all right. I mean, it's serving a purpose. And here's the gate that I uh, have to install because we didn't have anything like this before, so. She is literally the cutest dog. You're gonna get so much love. Oh, look at those paws. 
Look how big those paws are. Oh my gosh. You are so cute. Look how cute you are. Just look how cute you are. <laughs> and one day she will be a lot bigger than Luna. Luna's big. Luna's like 70 pounds. No, I'm lying. I think Luna is 60 pounds. I got Luna off the leash right now just to kind of be right here close to me. Still kind of eyeballing Mona. Oh, here comes Mona. She's not going to hurt you. She's just curious. She's scared. It's okay. It's okay. I promise Mona's not going to hurt you. I think someone's really liking out here, huh? I think someone's really liking it out here, huh? Do you like Luna? Come on. Where's Luna? Where's Luna? <laughs> Luna's over there getting into some trouble. Luna, stop it. I think she found a rat. So I got her out here. She loves Luna. She loves me too. <laughs> hey, here comes Miss Piggy. <laughs> she got left out for a minute. And Big Llama actually likes her. And the, even the cow likes her. <laughs> These guys are getting along really good. I'm really happy. And they're very happy. I'm really happy that they're happy. Here's my little fence I got going on. Got the gate. Just drilled these into the pole this pole was a pain in the butt it was like 10 foot tall and it's like one of those fat poles so you have to you have to dig a lot but uh it's in i do have to adjust this i think it's a 14 millimeter yeah it is 14 millimeter i was right you want it you want it go get it So there is a cow in the back that's mooing and like they're like it's like they're communicating they're communa mooing Ooh. mine don't sound legit all right this is looking good all right that's in place and now we have a little area to, you know, to hold this. There is our little setup here. And this is for like the chickens in the future too. I may even put like a, a netting. That way like hawks can't get to the chickens, but I don't know. I think with the guard llamas and of course my baby girl, Gracie, we're gonna be good. Because I am gonna train her to guard our chickens and our ducks. May even make a large pond, well, medium sized pond over here for the ducks and of course for like the llamas and if the cow wants to go for a little little dip because cows do like to swim i mean not swim they like to they like to walk in i know it's the new year and all just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year I know that there's a lot of you are probably uh maybe contemplating on starting something new maybe have a new goal new no, no don't go in the poop Luna, no. Oh. Don't make that your goal, okay? You know, there's nothing wrong with New Year's resolutions, uh, but I hate calling them that because oftentimes they fail, okay? So have a goal in place, start the new year with that goal, and stick with it, okay? Don't turn away from your goal. Like, my goal today was to build this fence, and I built it. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's effective, it works, and it does look okay. You know what I mean? It looks pretty good to me. And it gave our babies a nice big space to be safe in. I hope whatever goals you have in store for 2023, you crush. I pray for nothing but blessings for you and your family, your friends, relationships, coworkers, nothing but blessings. Here's another thing too that I did want to mention. If you do have some goals for yourself, even like some financial goals, it's okay to be happy for other people too. Don't be jealous. Don't be upset that maybe someone else that maybe they're not doing as hard a work, could be a coworker, maybe they're not working as hard or you think that they're not working as hard. But you know, it's, it's not cool of us to judge others. You know, be happy for other people, even if you don't like them. Be happy that they're succeeding because yeah, it's not good to be jealous, right? Your time will come. Whoever that's for, stay positive, all right? Love you so much before we leave, give me a kiss. Peace.